Hey guys, and welcome back to Thronebreaker, The Witcher Tales. Dressed as demons they was. Horns on their heads and pig snouts instead of noses. <laughs> Fair enough. My name is Jagris, and we're going to try and continue with the main story mission today and find this lord. Bandits, oh, you already said that. Demons, they was. On their heads How do I get the stuff out of her garden? I guess I have to go around. All right, well, we got the recruits anyway. Um, So let's just kind of continue on down the path towards this keep. There's a treasure chest there. I need to remember that's there because it's probably a way around to get it. But you can't necessarily see. Uh, we'll get the notice board first. Just gives us some more points of interest so we can see what's nearby, uh, what's worth collecting. Milady, the march has taken its toll on the men. A brief sojourn at the inn would do them good. Nothing improves morale like live music and a frosty mug. I mean, we've already got good morale, but fine. Off to the nuptials, ma'am. Walk across this bridge here, then ride on straight as pit. Ooh, nuptials. I want to go to a wedding. Imagine if the queen showed up at your wedding. I like how I'm like, I'm going to go do the main story. And then as soon as a side quest presents itself, I'm just like, all right, peace out. Bringing honey for the groom and his lovely bride. <laughs> May their new life prove at least as sweet. Dance till we die or the sun lights the sky. <laughs> Dance till we die or the sun lights the sky. The sun lights the sky all the time. Oh, as in dance all night, I get it. I'm bringing honey for the groom and his lovely bride. <laughs> I want to go to the wedding. Um, I guess we should go up here. I'm always just like, let's look for collectibles before we actually talk to people. Smoke bites at my eyes. The strays have set something else ablaze, I wager. The queen rides her there. The queen. She'll smite the bandits. Save us one and all. Damn straight. I smite all bandits. Smoke bites at my eyes. Strays have set something else ablaze. They don't call me Jagger as Slayer of Bandits for nothing. And yeah, that's definitely what people call me. I didn't just make that up. Before you're like, oh, Jagger as... You're telling porky pies. I ain't. I ain't. Right, let me just check if there's any resources up here. Hey, look, there's a little uh, decoy. Okay, here's what we're going to do. Is this locked? It is. We are going to defeat these cows in battle. Oh, I got the key. Make sure no one sees you. People are already talking. Your beloved beat. Oh, there's some kind of love affair going on. With cows. Probably not with cows. The peasants of Lyra have a saying, flog a cow and her ilk, you'll get blood in place of milk. Young herdsmen, naive enough to ignore such folk wisdoms, rarely live to a ripe old age. Eliminate the deranged cow, do not let any other cows- Oh, I'm not killing all the cows, just some of the cows. Use your leader ability. It's a puzzle with special rules. Okay, we can do this. What's our leader ability? Move a card in your deck to the top. And strengthen it by three, then trigger all allies' loyal abilities. Do any of them have loyal? I don't think they do. But we can do this twice, right? What does the cow do? After two turns on turn start, destroy the lowest cow. If there are multiple damage, only one of them instead. So the sensible thing to do would be to play this. This is going to give us an extra turn, right? Play this. Again and again and use and this again. to draw something. But I don't know what I'm going to need. Aha! I'm going to need one of these. Right? Because then we play them all on the row. So that's then going to go to the top. We then... Pass. Oh, it only hits one cow. Okay, that's fine. Now... We play this order. And put one of these on the row. Oh, Look at that. One, two, three, four, five. Lumexes. We can actually redeploy his charge. Which I don't hate. So let's play this. We must trust each other. I think other. this is correct. And then we play the Arbalist. And shoot this. Now we should be able to also trigger this, right? Because we thinned everything else out of the deck. One bolt and shoot him. Easy! I had a spare card. I'm so good at this game. <laughs> ah, 
Oh, we got decoy. This card has been added to your army and can be found in the command tent. Nice. I guess we should look at our deck then. And see if we can slot that in somewhere. I feel like it's going to be giving you cards in such a way where you need them. Return the ally, return an ally from the battlefield to hand. So it does basically what it does in Old Witcher. Used to, it used to be like, in Gwent it's obviously replay a card, so it's a little bit different. I'm going to take out one of these Scythemen. I don't think they're as useful with the uh, ability I'm using. Like, because I'm using the... I actually also quite like Field Medics. Because I'm using the uh, Warhammer version of the leader, it feels a little bit unnecessary to be running this many Scythemen. Hmm... This isn't that great. I don't like it that much. That'll do for now. Just one card change. See, I was like how there's like, I'm like, there's decoys in, in the grass. And then that was actually what was going on. Which is kind of quaint. <laughs> we need to find the last part of command. Ooh, there's a treasure up there. How do I get up there? Wrong button. I meant to press Y. I saw nothing. So I want to go up here. Do I have to go all the way around? Maybe I can get in between these houses and up. I don't know. I know that there's treasure there, I just don't know how to get it. My fluffy sweet bun. My heart aches, but I cannot sneak away. So many have arrived at the village, it's become impossible to slip away unnoticed. I spun a tail for my nosy aunties to escape for the briefest of moments. I managed to sneak some silverware under my dress, but I think it has to leave it here for now and return once Hysteria has died. Soon we'll have enough to begin our new life together. I'll watch you forever be. They're definitely going to elope. That's definitely what's happening there. Can I go this way? Oh, look at this. Look at this cheeky paw thing. See, this is what I mean by this game has like some... It's got some sneaky path thing, but we figured it out. We just gotta get through all these trees. And then get this treasure. And to be fair, the treasure does kind of hint that you can go this way, right? I can use this avatar in game. Oh man. I'm gonna look so swag when I play Gwent, the Witcher card game. Um, okay. Oh, there's some wood up there I didn't get, but eh. You know what? If you miss one or two resources, it's probably fine. Like, there's no point going all the way back around or making you guys watch me go all the way back around. Admittedly, I could use editing magic to get there faster, but I can't be bothered. Let's go up this way just for a second. Yeah, to get this. Do I want to go into the party? I guess we can go into the party. And then we'll come back and we'll go up there. That seems like a good plan. Look how much fun these two people are having. Meve's ear suddenly caught brisk music and voices raised in song. She had no doubt. A wedding ceremony had just begun in a hamlet just off the high road. When the bride's father spotted the royal retinue, he rushed up to beg the queen to bless the newlyweds. Meave obliged cordially. Encouraged, the father boldly invited Meave and her court to join in the festivities. You do us a right honor, my lady. A and your men had bolster their strength afore to march ahead. We beg ye, eat, drink, and rejoice with us. Yes. I haven't slippers to dance in, but I trust I'll manage somehow. Lead on, good man. The nuptials took place in the shade of a vast oak tree. Then the newlyweds and their guests walked in procession to a barn adorned with flowers. An uproarious celebration ensued. As she watched her soldiers dance shoulder to shoulder with peasants, Me felt a surge of pride at being their queen. The heart of Lyria. It beat most powerfully here, not in the gilded halls of palaces. Suddenly, a cry went up as strange armed men rushed into the yard. What? The lass! Grab her! Before anyone could stop them, the bandits took the bride and fled into the woods. What? The drums and fiddles, suddenly silenced, were now replaced by weeping, moaning, angry calls for pursuit. Deep grief upon his face, the host turned to Meave with a plea. Milady, we beg of you, help us! Right. We'll not leave you wanting, good man, shouted the queen, slipping her feet into her stirrups. Follow me! Yeah! The earth trembled beneath the weight of horse and hoof. 
Tankards laid out for a midnight toast to the bride and groom clinked prematurely in the quake, and the Lyrians charged forth into the dark wood. Who kidnaps a bride? I'm gonna have to go find her. Oh, to be young again. Heart bursting with love. That's much too positive sounding considering the bride just got kidnapped. Let's speak to you once more. Oh, you already said that. Heart bursting with love. Your Majesty, fishermen dragged out an ob object from Yavina. They claim it emits a magical of sorts. As it's of no use to them, they're willing to part with it for a modest sum. So we could just take it or we could pay for it. Hey, we found Commander's Horn. That is going in the deck. Wrong button. I'm going to always press the wrong button when I need to bring up the menu. I guarantee it now. What we got? Boost allies by two and damage enemies by two. Yes. Oh, I think I've got... You can have more than the minimum number of cards by the looks of things, but we're going to take out one more of these uh, Scythemen, I think. I think that's sensible. Okay, let's go find this woman who got kidnapped and taken into the Good woods. Folk, the Queen's returned. Welcome her we must. Tribute in hand. What? Ah, <laughs> ah Queen. Why pretty as a painting she is. Oh, thank you. I try. Ops, ops, merry little plant. Weddings without ye, revel we shan't. These singing bits are the best bits. Folks say the black clads come our way. I say let them. We've pitched folks enough for them all. Folks say the black clads come right, our so way. So where did that person I go with the girl? So I want to know. My queen, your subjects are troubled. A cow has given birth to a two-headed calf, an omen of impending war. You can send a priestess of military to spell it, but with, not without cost. Yeah, fine. I think you could just kill the cow, but these people are, like, religious, right? So let's not shun their religion. What is this? Point of interest. That's probably where the bandits are. So let's take a shortcut. Shortcut. Oh, I'm such a speedy queen. Oh, look. A lady and some bandits. Though the Lyrian cavalrymen had imbibed spirits throughout the night, they not only managed to stay upright in their saddles, but even gained on the bandits and cut off any chance of escape. Damn straight. It's because I can fast travel, you know, basically. Special rules shortened battle. The battle was waged in a dense dark wood moonbeams scarcely piercing its canopy had it not been for the bride's radiant white dress the lyrians might not have determined the enemy's position and so seeing double they stagger to battle the taste of cold vodka still on their lips prevent the bandit abductor from reaching <laughs> oops the right side of the row okay we'll figure it out the battle will only last one round Can I have a look at the board? What are these? No ability. Every turn on turn start, move one place to the right. Whenever the unit takes damage, move one place to the left. If the unit moves to the rightmost side of the row, move is defeated. Order a card in your deck to the top. So we basically don't need boosting cards is, is what I'm taking from this. So we can get rid of this. We can get rid of this. We can get rid of this. You want damage dealing cards. That's fine. That's not very useful. That just gives us more units. This isn't great. This isn't great. Although, is he going to be playing cards as well? Yeah. Hmm. Maybe it'll be good. Stop them! Okay. So I've got to just keep hitting that and also win the game or something. So we want to know what we want to draw. We may as well do that now. Especially because it has a cooldown. So we can trigger it multiple times. So I'm guessing we then want the Arbalist, really. Seems like the most sensible play. Oh, this also has 25 armor. Okay. We'll catch them all! So their power is gonna swap, which is fine.
An army's a waste of time for one like me. Is it worth triggering this? Just to knock him back one? I guess I can do it later. But not if he doesn't have any armor. So let's just do that. The chase is on! Guess we should play this, because this gives us another knockback. Do I want to trigger this? We move this to the row as well, he gets more points. And then we can play the orders guy, right? So actually we should play this. And we can then thin another one of these out of the deck. With uh, this guy. We've got actually a lot of options here to shoot that. Like, we can delay it quite a lot. We also don't actually need to shoot it every single turn. Catch! What does this do? We must stop them. The row is on fire. What does it do? Every turn on turn start, all units on the row have a 33% chance of taking two damage. Okay. Fair enough. I guess I should play this as well. Left, right, left, right. Let's knock him back. One more. And then enemy turn. So now what we can do... What we can do here... Let's summon a unit and see what we get. Oh, we got another shooty guy. Laria! I don't really need to necessarily reset everyone, though. I guess it's not terrible. One, two, three, four, five, six... Do I have anyone else I want to play orders for? Not potent well, potentially, but not now. Or we just put this on the back row. Discipline shall bring us victory. That's good. We just reset like four sets of orders, which is pretty solid. The problem is if they take off all the order and they burn, then they're gonna die. So let's use this on this row. Then we will thin a card and play it on the back row. Carny vittles. Hungry like a wolf I am. And then we haven't even played a card this round. We'll play the Scytheman. Actually I can use my leader ability, this can't I? We'll be reaping so what do I want to draw? Hands. I can thin both of these anyway. So let's draw this. And then end our turn. Okay, we're gonna have to start knocking him back now. So. I think we play this, right? Actually, can I kill it? In humility, I can possibly now. kill it, right? One bolt's all I need. He's got five health. Give me a tiny. <laughs> you can't make it to the other side if you're dead. Oh, I didn't realize I needed to kill him. I thought I just needed to stop him going to the other side. Oh, okay. Well, that's one way to win. <laughs> These troops defeated the bandits and rescued the bride. Only to be surprised. What's wrong with For the her? the maiden fair dropped to her knees and burst into tears of sorrow, not joy. Weep not, child. The queen said, placing her arm upon her shoulder. It's over. You're free. Nay, not so, your majesty. My lady, I've no love for Jan. No wish to wed him. It's my father. My family forced me. My heart's bimbers. He arranged the masquerade. I beg ye. If you've one ounce of kindness, if you've a heart, let us leave this place together and free. So on the one hand, you kind of have a duty. But on the other hand, like, women get told what to do all the time. And uh, <laughs> for me, personally, I lean towards, like, letting them leave. Like, if that's what she wants, you know, then she should be allowed to do it. This scheme you've pursued, I can't condone. Folk have been wounded. Some might have died, said the queen. Yet... Equally, I cannot let others force you to marry. So, 
May we go, Your Grace? You may. Fast as your legs will carry you, afore I have a change of heart. This card has been added to your army and can be found in a commander's tent, Lyrian Merlot. Though none dared utter a word of chagrin, Meave sensed her subject's bitter gazes upon her. At the first light of the morn she left, without so much as a nod goodbye. Why do they not like me? This is a... <sighs> God damn it, people. I got a new card, that's fine. Let's add it to the collection. What does it do? Boost the lowest ally by the power of the highest ally. See, that works probably quite well with Fortitude Tonic, right? But I don't think we can have that many specials in the deck. Yeah, see, so you've got a limited number of trinkets. I, I don't mind switching that out, though. Oh, is this, is this different? That doesn't go in there. See, because this is good. I don't know, man. I think we'll just leave it as it is for now. I think I think it, you'd have to build a deck more specific around that item. And because we're kind of row stacking at the moment, I think the commander's hall and everything is quite good. All right, let's have a look at the map. Am I meant to go back and tell those peasants that their queen is not coming? I'm gonna assume it's fine not to because I can't be bothered to go back. <laughs> All right, on with the main Despite quest. That column of smoke. God damn it. Make haste! You probably shouldn't have dallied at a wedding. As the Clayton estate appeared from behind a tree line, the queen and all in her retinue knew at once they had arrived too late. Oh, man. A veritable swarm of bandits milled about the yard. Who have we here? Not take a gander, lads. The queen herself is deigned to come and see us. I like how they've got a dog icon because they're like the, the king of the dogs or whatever it was. See you. Lord of the Hounds. Then kill you. The strays of Sparla. Tis you who lead them. Tis you they call the Duke of Dogs. Ah, Duke of Dogs. Close enough. Aye, tis I they dub so. And in other pleasant ways. Prince of Pariahs, Thane of Thieves, Baron of Brigands, and Marquess of Mendacity. Okay, then. Colourful titles all. Yet you omit one. Come on, cutthroat! Ooh, Coldwell's getting sassy. I beg your pardon and cry foul. I am anything but common. You needn't get excited, Coldwell. Where is Lord Clayton? He's probably not alive. Sadly, my lord's no longer with us. Turned us away, you see. Denied us hospitality. A sacred right, after all. Angered the gods mightily, I expect, as he promptly met a tragic end. Fell in the well and broke his neck. Oh, I wonder I've how heard that enough. Happened. Two arms! Attack! Uh, we were so polite. Optional. Eliminate Gascon, Duke of Dogs. Hint. Surround Gascon with powerful units. Meave soldiers were seasoned warriors. They had served in many campaigns, fought on many fronts. Still, the strays of Spala caused them great unease. The brigands, howling like wild dogs, did not fight with ordinary sword nor spear, but with execution as axes, boards with rusty nails, and instruments of torture, their faces concealed behind ghastly prison masks. Shortened bash ba bashel. The shortened bashel. Um, so this is really useful. I have to surround someone by powerful units. This is probably not bad for her either. I don't think I need this many arbalists. One of these can go. No. No. Oh, lads! What say we throw this queen a ball? Before turn start, if the sum of adjacent units' oh. power is higher than self, damage self by three. Every turn on turn start, move to a random position and damage adjacent units by two. Okay. So we need to get stronger than him, which is tricky to begin with, but gets easier, right? Tiny vittles, hungry like a wolf. These twos are kind of a problem, though. Is there anything I want to put at the top of my deck? Probably high point units. Can I not also shoot him with an arbalist, or did I make that up? Oh, I went to use my Meave ability. Whoops. Well, well. My 
My congratulations. I, I guess I can actually do this, and this will be quite successful. Because if we play this, There's a time to and then a time to sow. this, a time to and put this on the top of our deck, which is also a blitz unit, by the way, so we can draw into it. That's pretty solid. He's got no one next to him at the moment. Watch your heads. <laughs> we just need back. to basically just need to play high Smell value. Chemical concoction. Oh, come on. Stop doing that. I want to play this so that his order is on the go. Again and again and again. I'll move him out the fire. Move this to the front row. And then end my turn. Catch. Is he not going to move? He didn't move. So, if we play this, One bolt oh, I can't shoot him, okay. That's slightly frustrating. But then we play this, and play this. This should surround him, right? Shall bring us victory. What's he on now? He moves at the end of a turn, though. Okay, cool. So he's going to hurt himself this time. Hey, That was good. No time for that. What does this do? After two turns on turn start, move self by the power of the unit on the right. Then move to the opposite side. That's kind of a problem. Can I not decoy this? That's a viable option. Oh, he got, he got banished. Oh, no, he's in my hand. And this is on cooldown, right? No, no. So what do I want to draw into? I think I want to draw into something with high value. So this? Oh, he got boosted again. Nice. I didn't realize that triggers every single time. Okay, so he's pretty low now. After two turns on turn start, so I don't need to kill him just yet, right? Or maybe I do, I don't know. I don't know. I guess I can kill it now though, right? Because I can Give shoot it time. with this guy. It basically just denies him the points. And then when this guy moves, we should be okay. Oh, I need to play a card, don't I? Hmm. I guess we'll play this for now. We got a job to do. So he's gonna each time he gets lower, it's gonna get a little easier. Like he's gonna hurt himself again now because he's next to the fourteen. Cock it. Okay, now he's not next to the fourteen. But we can put him next to the fourteen with Count Caldwell by putting him there. Because I think I've got two more of these if in the insist. Yeah, let's see. Abolista, your command. You basically want to make as many pockets as you can where he can land next to a strong unit. I'm a I actually also don't want to shoot either of these, really. Which is just kind of a waste, but it's all right. Okay, he's on, he's on nine. Can I even put a nine in there? I don't think I've got one big enough. Unfortunately. Oh shit, I just boosted him. Oh no. That's bad. Have I got enough turns to kill him? I don't know that I have. Which is kind of a problem. Play this. Is late. Again. Oh, this is bad. Okay, he's gonna get hurt again, so that's fine. So I'm gonna put this on the end just so he doesn't land on the end. There we go.
They're still stronger than him. But I don't know, because I accidentally boosted him by two, it might not be enough. Because we're going to pass next turn, right? So I think we fucked it up by healing him. So I guess he's going to survive. That's annoying. Annoying. It was optional, I guess, but I did want to kill him. Bravo, your grace. Well played. I could have killed him. I can't say the same for you, I fear. You'd have done better to die in battle. Bound for Lyria now, where the hangman will have his way with you. Splendid! I've ever wished to see the capital. What? Let's get rid of him. Ugh. Take him away. Like... It's not my problem. I'm not, I'm not gonna, like, get involved with this guy. He's trying to bait me into As a conversation. As placed the Duke of Dogs in shackles, there was a sudden commotion. A messenger rushed in, sweaty, gasping for air, smelling of smoke and blood. His gaze spoke terror. Okay. Your Majesty, Grace is... Nilfgaard's crossed the Yoruga. How dare they? Black-clad hordes. Villages burn. Folk lie murdered. Nilfgaard, gods help us. They march for Dravagrad. Prince Willem, he can't hope to arrive in time with aid. Help us. You must. Well, yeah, obviously. Dravagrad. Blast it all. Listen close, soldier. You're to take a fresh mount. Ride hard back to your commander and say the queen comes to repel the foe. Your grace. Begging your pardon, our force. We aren't many. Let's send for reinforcements first, elsewise. Reynard, I've seen Nilfgaard's trebuchets at work. Should we delay until we're stronger, they'll leave no stone standing in Dravagrad. We must ride for the town at once. Okay, sounds good. Sounds like a plan. As her men prepared to march, Meave climbed the manor's tower. Smoke rose in columns in the distance. As more black pillars appeared one after the other, she knew they meant another home, another barn, another mill was in flames. Tears welled in her eyes, yet they were tears of anger. Bastards. If it's war they seek, it's war I shall bring you. Reynard, prepare to ride! You're just like riding around, like writing wrongs. Meave, Rivian Broadsword. This card has been added to your collection. So we can use that instead of the one where we power First bandits, the deck. now this. Misfortune does indeed come knocking twice. Hmm. In hobnail boots, tramping upon my land. Nilfgaard shall regret this. Damn straight. I swear on all that is sacred and blessed. Oh man. I'm still annoyed I didn't kill him in that in that card game. I definitely could have done it. I just messed it up a little bit. Although there is an element of luck in terms of where he moves, right? So Suddenly, Meave's force found itself marching straight towards a Nilfgaardian company. How are they already here? To the Queen's surprise, the invaders did not immediately assume battle formation. They proceeded instead in her very direction without a sign of panic. The man leading the Nilfgaardians was clad in rich robes. He exuded pride and the scent of musk. I am Traern Vardifir, your it's majesty. A, it's not a name. I was asked to present to your esteemed grace the ultimatum of the forces of the Empire of Nilfgaard. I love how they have a slight Dutch accent. The envoy cracked the seal on a scroll, unfurled it, took a deep breath and began to read. I, General Ardal Ebdahi, Demand the immediate and unconditional surrender of Lyria and Rivia. Elsewise, I will burn down every city, town, village, and temple, place all your subjects in chains, and your armed men, defeated and captured, I will hang along the roadsides as a warning to all others in the barbarous north. That's not gonna as happen. the final threat echoed in Meave's ears, the envoy put away the scroll and stood waiting for her answer, a mocking smile on his face. 
He allowed himself this insolence, believing the immunity accorded diplomats would shield him from any form of royal ire. Oh, uh, well, I mean, I don't feel like I should kill him. No, we're not going to attack him. That's not... I'm a queen. Like, come on. I have standards. I thank you, sir. A sophisticated missive that proves beyond a doubt Nilfgaard's superiority over the culturally backward north. Answered the queen in a voice frostier than Mahakam's snow-capped peaks. To delay this matter, I see no reason. So I give you my response to his excellency. Go ahead and try, Horson. That said, Neve slapped her mount with her reins and galloped away, leaving the Nilf guardians in dust. Just keeps being like you. Boy and escort turned to go whence they came. The Lyrians sending them off with a din of whistles and curses. It keeps being like you've answered one evil with another. Like if I kill people, I've answered one evil with another. If I don't kill people, I've answered one evil with another. How is like breaking, you know, diplomatic protocol? Like, evil. I just... This game is... I'm gonna get, like, the worst ending. I just feel it now. I'm a little bit triggered. A little bit. <sighs> You've answered one evil with another. No, I haven't. I just didn't kill a diplomat. Like, just because he's a smug git doesn't mean I, he deserves to die. That's not a good reason. The people I killed, killed other people. Apparently that's evil. People I don't kill, didn't kill other people. Like... Ugh, a canny win, man. It's, it's bothering me. I want to go up to this castle. Right, whatever you want, you can have it. See, I'm, I'm so bothered, I didn't even read the text. You know there's a problem when that happens. I can definitely fit over this wall. Let's look at this lovely garden we're in. I guess I'll come back here in a bit, though. This isn't where I wanted to go. Eh, we're in here now. We'll have a quick look around. Does it just keep going? Wrong button. <laughs> I told you I was going to do that. Uh, I'll just keep exploring. We'll do a little bit of overgrounding. Because we can always fast travel back. So it's not really a problem to be out here. Plus we might find something good. Who knows. Or just money and wood. Hey, look at that. I told you we'd find something good. Straight... Stray's bomber. Oh, he's the one who does like fire, right? That is a powerful ability. So I think we should take put that in our deck. Let's do that. Uh. Oh wait, I went here. Why did I go here? I, I can see what I can upgrade. Actually, this costs a thousand gold and two fifty wood. We can get this. Oh, this means I can move faster, doesn't it? That's quite useful. What's in the training grounds? I guess I have to get this one first. Ooh, I can get better units, like Lyrian Arbalist Plus. So he gets boosted when loyalty stuff happens. That's better. Okay, cool. What did I say I wanted from here? I can't afford it. I need more gold. Loading deck. Forager. Oh no, it's just it's just made them better, basically. That's cool. Okay. I like it. I like it. What did I just get as well? I got something else. Maybe I have to craft them. The stray something. Did I make that up? Um, I don't think I made it up. There we go. Is that him? Oh, he's just called a forager. Destroy the unit to its right and boost self by its power. That's not what I wanted. I thought I got the one that did fire out, oh, whatever. Why is there an exclamation? I'm going to use a mouse for a second. Why is there an exclamation mark? Oh, I got a new weapon, a new like, leader, didn't I? Damage an enemy unit and all other enemies with the same power by four. I'll try it. Might be good. Yeah, so we heard about that, that the Novigrads. The Novigrads were coming. Cool. Cool. Right. Back through this hole in the wall. I guess I could have fast traveled. <laughs> oh, excuse me. 
I've got Hiccup. Will there be another one? Probably not. I only ever get one for some reason. I get Hiccup, not Hiccups. I don't need this because I've already got it. Ah, battle. Let's go do this Nilfgaard battle. Why not? Foraging units followed in the wake of the Nilfgaardian army core force, emptying granaries, stealing horses, and looting valuables. While fracturing and scattering these units was not vital to Mew's effort to repel the invaders, she had no intention of allowing them to strip her realm bare. Yeah, that's true. No intention. Um, let's throw this. Uh, this isn't a bad hand. I don't need that many of these. I'm not going to redraw anymore because I want to save a mulligan for later. So let's play this guy because he gets better with time. And then we'll move this. And then end our turn. It's weird. I thought get, it would take longer to get used to orders. Damage an enemy by the number of your allied units. Gain one charge. Okay, so I need to kill him. The best way to do that is to do this. Oh, Lyrian Lummoxes. What does she do? Damage an enemy and all others by the same power by four. And then we'll shoot him with the the arbalist. Pick a random unit from your deck and boost it by two. Oh no. Spearman. Quiet. Strength and all copies of this unit in hand back all on deck by two. I don't have enough damage to kill him in one. Really? You can kill him in two. Army's a waste of time. Let's for do this. Like me. But he's gonna ki keep killing my units. New orders? No. Ah. Okay. Here's what we do now. We play this guy. Actually, yeah. Well, I mean, it doesn't matter. We want to deal five damage. I'm to your command. So kill that one. Trigger this. Stack the row. Can't take it anymore. And then end our turn. Although really, I'm gonna want to kill this guy as well. Got sand of plenty. So, do I have another one? I think I do. I can also decoy it. Remember. I'm a one second. Enemy turn. I don't want to use my leader ability just yet. Yes. So I think I can afford to decoy, right? He's not that far ahead if I lose eight points. Well, maybe. Can't afford to decoy anymore. But we can do three, four, five, six, seven, eight damage with this. How do I pick? I guess I'm picking which side I want to boost. So we'll boost our side and we'll damage his side. That was a solid play. <laughs> Must be an important lesson in this. But what? After one turn, on turn start summing a copy of this unit. So let's decoy. I'm gonna lose ten points, but I think it's worth it. This guy. And then end turn. Because then we can play him again. What does this do? He's resilient. Can I kill him? I don't think I can quite kill him. Seven units on that side of the board. But if we make his resilient much smaller, we're probably okay. Let's trigger this now. Didn't it say all copies? Oh, with the same power. Oh, I misread that. So you want everything to have the same number, not be the same kind of unit. <laughs> oh, my bad. I totally misunderstood what that was going to do. I bet you people are watching this being like, she has totally misunderstood this card. Boost adjacent unit by one of this unit has armor. So I guess we play this. Her Majesty knows what she's doing. We trigger this. 
It's not quite what I wanted. My spirit's willing and how but And then end turn. We are quite far ahead though. Even with this boosting. It hurts her. But the problem is if I play this this turn. Off to the front yet oh, again. Oh no. I'd have to go down a card, right? Left, right, left, right. Is he gonna pass? Is he gonna play? Okay, so now I think we play this. Again. Then we trigger again, this. Again. Then we play this. One and we just want to deal damage, so let's do that. And then pass. We go down a card, but we won the round. He's got carry over though, so like we can't just try pass, right? Not really. Right, so let's throw this one. This isn't terrible. What are we you gonna resurrect? Like a swine in that jacket. That's actually pretty good. Army's a waste of time for one like me. How do I know if she's off cooldown? I actually have no idea. I like how she puts her sword away when it's not your turn. 102, 103. Oh, could you not do that? Is that an option? There's a time to reap, a time to sow. How many do I have any of those guys? I don't know if I do. Let's boost him. And we'll trigger this on these, because I don't want him to be resilient, so we'll kill both of them. Which boosts him as well. Now we're up 25 to 3. Like, we're in a pretty good position. Oh, the commissar will hear. He's got a lot of points though. Do we play this? Let's do that. A lesson in humility coming now. I wasn't sure if we had more cards to play, but we only had one. Right, that'll do. We're up 25 yeah, points. Right. So I think we win, maybe, maybe. Oh. Yeah. Good job me, get wrecked. Nilfgaard scum. Feels good, feels good. And we get the spoils of war. Oh, I didn't realize those like Dublin guys were gonna be so problematic. From Duke, blah, 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 to Colonel Eowyn. Your priority is capture of Dravagrad. Seizing the city is the war's first in the war's first days, grants additional clout behind our allies in the negotiation with the Lyrian nobility. You needn't lose peace of mind over Queen Meave. According to our reports, she's just crossed the border with an insignificant military force. Insignificant. <laughs> no threat. Oh. There were famous last words if ever I heard any, you guys. Famous last words if ever I heard any. That was not too shabby. Not shabby at all. Anyway, my lovely viewers, I think... For today, we will leave it there. Uh, if you enjoyed the episode, maybe leave a like. Let me know how your story is going in Thronebreaker. Do you think I keep making evil choices? Or do you feel like I'm being, you know, fair but firm? Let me know in the comments below how you feel my choices are going. If you enjoyed the episode, like I said, you can leave a like. You can find me on Twitter, at Jagoras, and on Twitch, twitch.tv forward slash Jagoras. Thank you so, so much for watching. Have an awesome day. And there will be another episode for you guys tomorrow. So keep an eye out for that.